Hello everyone and welcome back. Today we are starting season 5 of Supernatural. Left us on a big cliffhanger of just like... They were waiting for Lucifer to be like, Hey y'all, I'm Lucifer. Or something like that. And um, yeah, still, uh, still shocked that fucking Ruby was working against us and she was a worshiper and she, she wanted actually to bring uh, Lucifer. Um, if you don't mind, we're just gonna jump back into it. The fuck was that? <laughs> ah, okay, let's go. This is unpleasant. What the hell? I don't know. Everything's going to shit. I need to find Cass. Oh yeah, he was with Homeboy. I don't remember his name. The writer. <laughs> Sam! Yeah! Sam! Hey, Chuck. So, you're okay? Chuck. Well, my head hurts. No, I mean, I mean my, my last vision. You were like full on Vader. Your eyes were black. Your eyes went black? I didn't know. Momentarily. Where's Cass? He's dead. Go what? On. The archangel smote the crap out of him. Oh shit. Playtime's over, Dean. Time to come with us. You just keep your distance, asshat. You're upset? Yeah. You're Little upset. <laughs> sons of bitches jump started judgment day. Maybe we let it happen. We didn't start anything. Lucifer needs a meat suit? He is an angel. <laughs> Them's the rules. And when he touches down, we're talking. Four horsemen, red oceans, fiery skies, the greatest hits. A little insurance policy in case you dicks showed up. He learned that from Cass. That's cool. Learned that from my friend Cass, you son of a bitch. Mm. He's not dead. Cass is not dead. He exploded, but he's not dead. I... I learned it from Ruby. She who must not be named. You just gotta find... the devil. Imagine it's Lucifer from Lucifer. He makes a cameo, you know? He's gonna be the meat suit. This is wrong, said Dean. F and uh, I don't no. wanna be right, replied Sam in a husky voice. Excuse me? <laughs> Ew! Oh no, that's the fan fiction that, like, they've been referring. In the first episode, we saw Chuck. That is messed up. Then I don't want to be right. You need my help? That's right. I need you to get a message to Sam and Dean. Okay? <laughs> I was just... From this angle, I recognize her. And if I'm, well, if I'm right, <laughs> she's fucking Eunice from She's the Man. It's totally her. It's totally Eunice. Uh. <laughs> you okay? 
Okay. Wow. Is it really you? What's the message? He had a vision that Michael's sword is on Earth. The angels lost it. The Michael's sword? Becky doesn't know where it is. In a castle on a hill made of 42 dogs. 42 dogs? Are you sure you got that right? It doesn't make sense, but that's what he said. Hey, Bobby. Good to see you boys Bobby. all in one piece. Bobby, this is all my fault. I'm sorry. Same. Lilith did not break the final seal. Lilith was the final seal. Sam, stop it. I killed her. And I set Lucifer free. You what? You're sorry he started Armageddon? This kind of thing don't get forgiven, boy. Yeah. I'm like, he didn't know. It's a miracle. Doesn't matter, it still happens. I want you to lose my number. Understand me. Oh my god. Oh no! Bobby! Oh god. Because Bobby's like a dad to them. Maybe we shouldn't have tried so hard to save him. Bobby. God damn. Bobby? He ended the world, Dean. Bobby! And you and I weren't strong enough to stop him proper. Castle storage, 42 Rover Hill. Castle on a hill of 42 dogs. Ah! So you think your dad had the Michael sword all this time? I don't know. I'm not sure what else Chuck could have meant. I can't believe he figured that out. <gasps> no! Is that a demon? Or Lucifer? Demons. I always knew you were a big, dumb, slow, dim pain in the ass, Dean. Ruby. Try again. Go back, Bert. Meg. Hi. Fuck. I'm in the front of the line, baby. That's right. <clears throat> Ooh. Ew. What is that, peanut butter? You know, you're sorry your daddy's still awake. Screaming in there. And I want him to know how it feels slicing the life out of you. He's fighting it. Bobby. that work that's why they saved him what what do you mean I'm a sword you're Michael's weapon or rather his receptacle I'm a vessel you're the vessel uh, Michael's vessel the vessel of Michael uh, why, why me because you're chosen yeah life as an angel condom <laughs> that's real fun <laughs> I think I'll pass, thanks. You need my consent. Michael needs my say-so to ride around in my skin. Unfortunately, yes. But there's gotta be another way. There is no other way. There must be a battle. Your friend Bobby, we know he's gravely injured. Uh, say yes and we'll heal him. Say no, he'll never walk again. Fuck. No. Then how about we heal you from... Stage four stomach cancer. Castiel, my man. Yes. Oh. 
Oh damn! He's been he's been taking some kung fu lessons. <laughs> I guess were you really dead? Yes. And how are you back? How? She needs sure. the consent, right? Naturally, um... He's gonna say yes. I need to take control of your mind and your body. Is that all? How could God stand idly by while that man broke into your home, butchered your family in their beds? There are only two rational answers, Nick. Either he's sadistic, or he simply doesn't care. God did this to you, Nick. And I can give you justice. I need you to say yes. I would say yes if I was him. Yes. Ugh. Poor him. Sam. I was awake. I know what I said back there. I just want you to know that that was the demon talking. Oh. Thank God. I ain't cut you out, boy. Not ever. Oh, stop it! <laughs> you were the one that I depended on the most. And you let me down in ways that I can't even... I'm just, I'm having a hard time forgiving it for getting here, you know? I don't think that we could ever be what we were, you know? I just don't think I can trust you. The thing is, it's, you know, it's really realistic. Of course, it may, like, it's not, they're not reaching, you know? If you're Dean, even if we know that the intentions of Sam were good, you know? He never wanted that to happen. We know that. But it doesn't change the result, you know? When someone hurts someone else and they're like, I didn't mean to. It's like, it doesn't matter. It's not, not going to make the problem go away. So it makes sense. And I don't blame Dean at all for um, what he just said. Especially since, like, even before the last scene of the finale... Like, the episode before, we had a big fight and, like, a lot of things were said. So, I I also feel like we're riding off that kind of awkwardness and um, just, like, tension, you know? But when he says, I don't think we can ever be what we were, I don't believe that. <clears throat> I do believe that for a little while, maybe the whole season, maybe half the season, maybe three episodes, we don't know. But it's going to be a little bit touch and go for a little bit. But of course, they'll like the trust has been broken. But I do believe that Sam will do there's two ways. Sam will do everything to win back uh, Bobby and Dean's trust. Or he's going to be like, you know what? Fuck it. I'm going to be evil. Because Ruby's probably going to come back, you know? Hell is on Earth right now. So Ruby's probably going to come back and maybe she'll try to reach out to Sam and maybe he'll go full evil. I don't know. But one thing's for sure, this episode was really good. 
we saw Meg again, and the, f like, when Bobby slash Demon told, ugh, that was so hard, bro, that was so heartbreaking. I'm happy that it wasn't um, Bobby saying that because at the same time, like, when he said it, I did believe that he meant it. But, like, maybe he was just mad and that at some point he would be like, you know what I said, like, I apologize, da da da. But in the moment, I didn't have a hard time believing that he was telling Sam this because, like, it's the fucking end of the world, bro. You did this, <laughs> you know? But that was really good and it was a really, it was realistic it was a realistic first episode following the finale and that's what I love. Like we picked up right where we left off and like we lost Castiel for a little bit but then he came back and there's still quite a bit of mystery. He said like, you know it wasn't the angels who put them on the plane so was it Lucifer? Was it... I don't know who it was but it seemed to like uh, ring an alarm in Zachariah's head. And now we have Lucifer who's taking a vessel and, you know, he ch they chose like the real, like they chose a really good person. I don't know if it's because there's something in him that makes him special or is it just like the power of the grief that he's feeling that he doesn't really have anything else to hold on to. And Lucifer kind of made a point, you know, what she was, uh, it, when he was in the form of his wife, what she was telling him, you know, it's, it's hard to, like, argue against that, you know? Because I feel like it's the biggest argument for, like, religion. Or if you want to decide if you believe in a god or not. It's like, okay, if there's a god, why is so many, like, fucked up shit happening? Is he allowing that, you know? You know what I mean? Like, you've probably heard that argument before like well your god is is a jerk like he's just looking at us suffer and I know I understand that like humans do this to each other but it's like you know it's a great argument and it has been raised in this episode and it's you know she was like either god doesn't care or he's just like laughing at us or something but, you know, he lost his family, so now he's just like, you know what? Fuck it. Take me. Oh, but I'm excited. And, uh, again, it, I... Just, the, the season 5 opener did not disappoint. Um, and I'm really excited to go on this journey of season 5. So, um, I guess that'll be all for this season opener. It was really good. It was season 5, episode one it was sympathy for the devil so can't wait to see what's next um i'll see you guys for the next episode and thank you for watching